She broke her leg. Wow, she's not playing. Before we start this video, I just would like to thank all my patrons that are going above and beyond to support my channel. You guys are amazeballs. I would also like to thank my subscribers and to those who supported me since the beginning, especially the Weight Army Peeps. Thank you guys, you are all amazing. What is up guys, Athena here and welcome back to another Promised Neverland reaction episode. Now, it was an intense exchange between Crone and the kids, and I was so engrossed in the moment. Engrossed. Yes, I use that word. I rarely use that word. Um, but it was fascinating to see Crone breaking down the kids' facade, you know, finding the chinks in their armor, peeling metal layer after layer until she found out the truth. It was a really, really nice scene. Uh, the previous episode contains few major events but I kind of became too engrossed in their mind game it was so fun to watch wondering you know which team will outwit who and it was very nerve-wracking well, not very it was nerve-wracking and fun to watch at the same time and then Crown revealed a lot of things and he also revealed or she also revealed her desire to replace Isabella as the the seer or the overseer of their farm um now not out of l unconditional love for the kids um but rather to kind of guarantee her own survival and i'm pretty sure it's it's the same with ray well that was him initially um before um the kids found out about you know him being a spy and everything like that and i'm pretty sure isabella as well so it, like, look, everyone is definitely a victim here and they're just looking after themselves and it's absolutely understandable. Like, if you think about it, would you give yourself as food to the monster or would you give someone else just for you to survive? I would give my brother away <laughs> to, <laughs> to the monsters. <clears throat> like, I'm that bad. Just to, like, you know, like, so that I could survive. No way, I shouldn't be saying that because he watches my videos and stuff. But not my brother. Maybe like someone else. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know which one's tastier. My brother or like my close friend. But then, my brother is very um, buff. He's very uh, mus uh, muscly and very, uh, what you call this, physically blessed. So he can run really fast. I can run really fast too, so I'm okay. So we can probably like escape together and like have someone as a decoy be eaten out of the monsters while we run away. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking like this. Like I'm already like, I mean, what if it happens in the future? Like you never know. Like, I don't know, you never know. Maybe we're like in a farm, like just a huge farm. And then the government kind of ships people out of the, you know, the earth to be fed to aliens. <laughs> Maybe astronauts don't survive because they are like, they're sacrificed to the aliens. <laughs> so the aliens don't like destroy the earth or something. I don't know, fuck, what is wrong with me? I drank a lot last night, so that's funny. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the next episode, let's go. So before we start this video, please support my channel by giving this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get the latest videos. Letter? What letter? Oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay. Sister Crow. Oh, she's being moved. <gasps> wow. <clears throat> what? Oh, this is an unexpected turn of event. Why is she so scared? Is this like... Is this like a decoy or something or this is a lie or something and then she's gonna kill Chrome? 
But then the monsters are gonna find out, right? Or grandma is gonna find out that she's thinking of killing her. Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> but she, I mean, you wanted to be a mom, so it's fine, isn't it? What's that? What is that? What band was EpiPen? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Phil so much! He is the most cutest kid in this house, for sure. Is she going to uh, tell the other kids, the trio? She is. Oh, she's going somewhere. Wait. Okay. I mean, it's fine. She wants to be a mom. There you go. You're you're gonna be a mom. <gasps> Are we gonna see the monsters? <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm not ready. Oh, there's grandma. Yeah, she looks like a grandma. I don't even need to see her eyes. Is she a monster? Is grandma a monster? What? Oh, is she gonna snitch on the kids? Or... Cause she doesn't like Isabella and she was mentioning it earlier so probably she's gonna say something bad about Isabella. Oh yeah. So she's okay with it? Oh. Oh. So she was in the same situation as Isabella before. Okay. So the grandma knew about it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <gasps> Hold on. I thought she's gonna be a mom. Is she gonna be eaten? Oh shit. No way. Oh, I don't wanna hear this. <gasps> Valium. <gasps> Oh, okay, this is a flashback right here. Okay, this is not gonna be good for Krone. Poor girl. Wait, did I see a boy in the lineup? I thought it was just women. Come on, Krone, fight. I'm sure you have something in your bag or something. I don't know. Yes! Bread knife! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Oh, she's even smiling. She's more of a monster than the monsters, really. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I don't see any boy. I was probably just, um... Oh yeah, look! There's one. Oh, maybe she's like, she has short hair. Aw, poor Krone. I mean, she worked hard. What's that? Open it up. I know it's a pen, but there must be something in it. Oh my gosh, the poor woman. Oh, 
Oh, she gave it to them. Yeah, that's what the monsters are going to be saying after eating Krone. My god, that is terrible. I can't believe they killed off Krone just like that. She had Crony under control and now she's gonna have Ray under control. Shit. <sighs> Oh, she doesn't need you anymore. Oh my gosh, she knew. I knew it. She is a sly, conniving, smart woman. I like her. <laughs> Wait, he's sick? Oh my god. <sighs> what is she going to do to the kids? Oh my god! Oh my gosh. Oh, please! I want, like, Norman to do something. Like, you know, him being able to read the situation and understand that Mama already find out about, you know, what they're doing. And... Ah, I don't know! I don't know! Oh my god. This is nerve wracking. Oh, poor Ray. Oh! Done! He is blessed physically. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Please have some sixth sense. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Exactly. Wow, these kids are no joke. These are the top two of the class, so obviously. It's the mama. Oh, those smile. Like, her smile is so deceiving. <laughs> she already know! <clears throat> hmm. Are you gonna spill the bean? So the mask is off. Oh my god, yes! I love this. For real? Because she knows what's outside? 
And then you'll be a delicious food for the monster in a few years. Yes, of course. It's pretty short-lived, bitch. <laughs> Lived her life to what, like seven years? I'm, sh I'm pretty sure she's being honest about it. Like she's saying to the kids, there's no hope outside of the walls, so... She looks genuine when she says it, you know? She knew about them, yeah. Shitty. Oh, what is going to happen now that the mask is off? <laughs> I'm craving a good boy. Oh my gosh, really? Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god, I heard it. I heard it. Oh shit, I can't. She broke her leg! Wow, she's not playing! Oh my gosh, she's mental. She is mental. Oh, you weirdo. <clears throat> Special meal, the only special one can eat. Special for her own survival. Wow. Is she giving up? Oh, Emma, please, no. Oh, Phil. Oh, my God. I can. Shit. Oh my god, no! This is dreadful. Oh, it took a wrong turn. We had it. We were so ready for that freaking thing. But, damn, I knew it. I knew that Isabella is so smart for this, like for what they were doing. Like they were probably hiding it and everything, but I knew, I had a feeling that she already knew what they were doing and what was happening, so. I mean, I didn't expect the show to go there. I, Isabella breaking Emma's leg is a huge indication of the dark places the show is heading towards, starting from this episode. I mean, it's not as shocking as, shocking, shocking as the first episode, but definitely it was very confronting. Like, breaking a kid's leg is huge. I cannot even, like, even me spraining my leg hurts. And, like, spraining someone else, I can't, like, I can't explain it. It's just, maybe I can hurt myself um, and be okay with it well would be yeah a little bit okay with it but hurting someone else it just gives me this cringe feeling you know like hurting someone else or hurting an animal or something like that it just gives me this cringe feeling i can't explain it but it's not a nice feeling and i i don't like hurting someone or more or less a kid but 
we can tell from Isabella that her convic conviction into, you know, uh, saving herself first is a big deal for her. But at the same time, you can really see her warped and complex mentality. Um, she genuinely cares for the kids, but at the, t at the same time, she still has a job to do and needs to protect her safety as well. So, and it's very understandable. I mean, you know, who's gonna be eaten? Like me or other people? So might as well just, you know, just focus on me because I don't want to die. So that's probably what she's thinking. I mean, once again, the show ends in a cliffhanger. And seriously, at this point, the show needs to be called like, you know, the cliffhanger Neverland or something. I was expecting that she'd be stating that Ray is gonna go next, but I guess, yeah, Norman's date is set is super shocking. I thought it'd be Emma first, you know, after Ray, but then Norman. I don't know, but I have a feeling that the three will be fine. Actually, no, I have second thoughts about Ray. Like, he can go. And I'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, I guessed it. I guessed much, but for the two, I don't think so. I don't think it's gonna happen. So we will see, cause sometimes, you know me, like I guess things and most of, most of the time it's wrong, so. Anyway, uh, that was fun. And me, from the cliffhanger, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. That's so sad. Sorry, Norma. This is just ridiculous. Um, but yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this reaction episode or video, and I'll see you on the next one. Janet!